abdominal pain during the menstrual period is it dangerous does it cause anything in the future we call it as a dysmenorrhea the dysmenorrhea pain in the abdomen is due to the spasm of the muscles in the uterus leads to pain when there is a shedding of the endometrium of the uterus does during the bleeding cause the pain in the muscles of the uterus leads to pain in the abdomen it's a natural to every female during their lifetime after the maturity so whenever there is a bleeding during the menstrual period obviously they feel sick they feel feverish and then there is a cramps in the abdomen these are the natural uh, uh, process in the uh, uh, female body during the period that is for at least 2 to 5 days obviously nothing to worry about it and uh, does not cause much more problems in future when there is a severe intolerable pain during the menstrual period you should take the antispasmodics that uh, muscle relaxants uh, does really helps you to control the muscular pain or muscle cramps due to the periods otherwise there is nothing to worry about the cramps abdominal cramps during the periods the menstrual periods and uh, the simply within 2 uh, to 3 days that uh, pain abdominal pain wins down so you must rule out certain young t- females or youth females uh, having uterine infections associated with menstrual periods Uh, does really continues the lower abdomen pain for more days so obviously there is a wide discharge then should ruled out with a gynecologist whether uh, is there any discharge why discharge is infective and what type of infection it's an fungal infections or bacterial infection should rule out and then the fungal infections and bacterial in- infections should be treated otherwise a simple short time menstrual period from 2 to 5 days Uh, during that there is a mild moder- mild to moderate pain uh, abdominal pain is uh, not much worried uh, because that's a natural process takes place during the menstrual period in the uterine muscles so obviously we must take care we should have a proper nutrition to the child or the youth you should have a good hemoglobin content the hemoglobin should be above 11 to 12 for the females and then they should have a proper nutrition so that certain time the anemia also causes a severe pain and does have a multiple problems generalized weakness pains and all that so abdominal pain is not that variable problem during the periods does not cause much or any problems in future for a menstrual abdominal pain those are the natural pains which physiologically happens in your body and then you should take care of your anemia you if you should take care of your nutrition and if anything more than 4 to 5 days there is a bleeding is more than 4 to 5 days there is if there is a, a pain more than 5 days then you should contact your gynecologist to rule out any pathological problem in your uterine body